What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I don't really like to really comment on people's looks, okay? Uh, being that I am the second best looking person in the world, and that most of y'all are ugly. We're just gonna be real, okay? Most of y'all look terrible. Well, besides that, I just don't really like dealing with looks as I get older and sexier. I like to deal with people's personalities, but sometimes um, in these conversations dealing with these celebrities, looks are very important. I wanna talk about, first of all, Lizzo and Mike Wright. It is clear to see that anybody, even Stevie Wonder can see that, you know, if that guy had the money she had, he would not be with her. It doesn't even look right, okay? But let's go over to white celebrity land, which I don't really deal with. I, don't, I, I deal with you. I don't deal with these white folks for the most part here on social media. But our white friends over in celebrity, there is an interesting dilemma going on over there with Britney Spears and Sam Ashgari. Now, Sam Ashgari is a much younger man. And if you look at Britney Spears, I'm just going to really say this uh it's the opposite of black don't crack okay again i'm not saying that she's ugly or anything like that but god dang um like i said you know it, it she has uh progressed into her older years i'll say that right so when you see them it's not like britney spears 20 years ago britney spears 20 years ago in him right now that looks you know it, it, okay britney it looks all right Britney Spears in 2023, mm, that's not the same Britney. Britney, Britney looking a little, little older, okay? A lot older, a lot older than him. So much so that if she wasn't who he was and he would be, definitely not want to be with her, I would think, okay? Now also, Britney is not only richer than him, but 12 years older than him, all right? So she with him because he looked good, he with her because she rich, right? Got it. No no shade on Britney, that's what I think. Britney 2004, 2005, even Shaq wanted her. Britney right now, I'm just saying, you know, like I said, further on up the road. Now, here's what we're looking at, brothers and sisters. When these women get with these guys, there's a lack of disrespect or a lack of respect for these young men. Any Anytime you see it, just look at Kiki Palmer and, and Darius Jackson. No respect for the guy. He's only there to be a good looking guy to her. Get a baby, whatever, no respect. Sam Ashgari has confronted Britney Spears because allegedly she's cheating on the guy. Now I would've thought it would've completely been the opposite, but I guess Britney out there is slaying that, slaying that thing. And the guy confronted her about being unfaithful. I don't know who the hell is trying to hit that, but you know, like it might be one of y'all cause y'all know y'all, y'all, y'all thirsty. So he's telling her, look, you know, you've been cheating on me. What's the deal? He says she unfaithful. And probably what her response was, so, so, I'm not saying it's true, but so. So, so Shay, why do you say she said so? I'm glad you asked that question. Because number one, she's a young, he's a younger guy and he ain't got no money, all right? And a lot of these guys out here don't understand this, but when you are either much younger or much broker, dude, they not gonna reach, you ain't nobody to be faithful to, bro. You're a girl to them. Like that's something that guys gotta understand. When you are a younger broker man, we gonna just be real, keep it trill, cause I can't keep it no other way. Bro, they're going to be treating you like you ain't nothing, dog. I'm just, going to, I'm just going to tell you, usually. I've never met anybody that I know that is a younger man with a wealthier older woman with at least a 10-year age gap that he's going to be able to say, you know what, man, she treat me so good. It's just like, nah, we had an argument the other day. And she told me literally to get my shit and get the hell out. That's what she told me if I didn't like it. And I was only asking her where the juice was. See, you see how that is? She was saying, get up out of there. Get your ass out of here. If you don't like what I do, you ain't got no money. 
Jigga, I'm Britney Spears. Who you think you talking to? See, these guys out here thinking like, oh, yeah, I got me a sugar mama. You know what I'm saying? I done laid it on her. You might have laid it on her. Look, I said, man, hey, they can cry for Jesus when you're in the bed knocking it out. Hey, all day long. Cry for Jesus, the Holy Ghost, all kind of stuff. Y'all think that that's something. Listen, man, these women can cry for everything in the bedroom when you're knocking it out. I'm trying to tell you, been there, done that, okay? They can cry for Jesus. They can cry for everybody in the Bible. That don't mean a goddamn thing. If that woman don't respect you, boy, let the dust hit your mother effing feet. If you don't get your ass out of there, I'm coming to, I'm coming to get you myself. I will come in the middle of the night and get you myself. Boy, what are you doing? Swipe, swipe, swipe. Boy, you better get your ass out of here. I'm trying to tell you, man, just because they, 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 they're giving you nice things, they're giving you nice gifts, they're, they're, they're swallowing this and swallowing that and gargling this and gargling. But boy, if they don't respect your ass, boy, what you doing there? Richer or poorer? Because there can be situations where woman ain't got no money or she got all the money. If you don't respect, you don't matter. Men, we need our respect, family. We need our respect, family. Hallelujah. We need our, I'm going to say it again. As black men, we need our respect. I, 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 I don't care if you're a young man right now, all you chasing after the long as she let me hit that, I ain't even worried about it. Oh, okay, never. When you get tired of all of that, you're going to want your respect. All right? You're going to want that. There is no doubt in my mind you're going to want your respect, okay? And most ladies out here don't probably want to give it to you all like that. I'm just going to be real. Ain't trying to give you your respect. If they don't want to give it to you, F them. Take they ass on to somebody else. Hey, you, you got to give me my respect, boo. I don't give a damn how much money you make or not. But most of them, and I'm going to tell you like this, a lot of ladies ain't been trained to respect nobody. And that's why women gonna always have a problem with men. So we've seen also, look at Kiki Palmer and Darius Jackson. This guy, okay, he gets back with her for the sake of the kid. What does she go and do? Goes out there, gets on the goddamn video with who? She gets in the video with Usher that's making fun of the situation. No respect, but do you wanna know why? Because you ain't, like, listen, whatever they want come first. A lot of times men are called selfish in relationships. Let me tell you something. Do you know how many, I, I, I think that too. Man, men are selfish, man. We we selfish with women. Uh, hold, hold on, hold on, player. Hold on, player. No, no, no. Actually, we really, that we're not. A lot of guys are sacrificing to be with some woman. Literally. Okay? Literally, you are sacrificing to have a family. It is not easy taking care of a woman. It is hard work. A lot of times, unfulfilling work for a lot of guys. Okay? It is a chore. Taking care of them when they periods, whatever, mood swings, here, there, everywhere, attitudes, no respect, disrespect. Oh, I'm sorry, I love you. No respect the next time. Um, you you you, you know, like, hey, I could have been out in these streets by myself or whatever else, boo. Like, what the hell am I doing here with yo ass? I'm just gonna be real. Y'all don't give these guys credit, especially the guys that's married. You know how hard it is to be married to somebody? One of these hell raisers that can be married to? I'm not saying all of them hell raisers, but you got, we got some levels of hair raisers in the black community, in, in any community. And dealing with a lot of ladies, of, 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 of ladies who have not been taught, at least in certain places like in Uganda, certain levels of Africa, women are still being taught to some level to respect a man, how to treat a man. Yeah, good luck in America. Ain't they ain't gonna teach you a goddamn thing. Girl, F him, he ain't nobody to be respecting. Shoot. What he talking about? So guys, what do you think it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson? Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Pretty sure for all you do, scrape the bell. I'm out.